need to hop into the game. I don't think there's anything else I need to do other than restart the game, apparently, because uh, I didn't know that the intro sequence went like right into the game. So I'm going to hit the reset button real quick. <laughs> You're sleepy? Me too, Noodle. Me too. Literally saw you the other day heading to work at 106 for your 1 o'clock shift. And your point? Uh, I bet you I was there technically on time. Like, <laughs> there's a little bit of leeway, okay? Being on time for something doesn't mean you have to be there, like, on the dot, right? You have to have, like, a 15-minute leeway either direction. That's how, that's how I look at it. Like, <laughs> if you don't have at least a little bit of leeway either way... Then, like, what are you doing with your life, man? Oh, it's starting off with the, the the Paramount logo there. Didn't expect that. That's weird. Grandma's having some issues. Chocolate milk sounds nice. I love chocolate milk, but I can't drink it anymore. Uh, too much sugar. But I'm sorry to hear about Grandma. I hope she's, uh, hope she's okay, man. He leaves at, like, 102, usually. Yeah, yeah. I try to leave at, like, 1, but I usually end up leaving at 102 in <laughs> instead. You know. I'm screwing with you. If I'm not running behind, I broke more traffic laws than normal. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much me, man. Like, if I'm actually running behind, I'll just hop on the highway instead of taking the back roads and then just go, you know, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Someday, it, oh. and that day may never come, I may call upon you to do a service for me. Until that day, accept this as a gift. Little Italy, New York City, 1936. You keep telling her to go to the doc, but she won't. She has this pain behind her breast and it's been happening since yesterday. I mean, she definitely should go to the doctor. Nice. Good week, huh? Yeah, some high rollers. But, uh... Celebrate tonight. Taking Serafina to the Continental Club. Hopefully it's just like a pulled muscle or something, though, you know? Like nothing serious. There's plenty of things that can cause that that's not too serious, so... Hopefully it's one of them. Where's my boy? Mm. He's been me neither. The alley all day. I thought the noise was gonna drive me nuts. You're fine, Rue. Never seen it. Good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, well, shit's blowing up. I can tell you that much. So, uh, I think we pissed off somebody. Either we pissed off somebody or her boy pissed off somebody. I don't really know. Uh, okay. Can we, like, go into the options menu now at least? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, da -da -da. uh vibration, on's fine. Camera pitch, rotation. I might end up needing to fuck with that at some point. Uh, controller and audio. That's subtitles. That's what I was looking for. Man, that's fucking shitty, though. Like, they have the whole intro thing that you're forced right into with no main menu which is fine but like there ain't no subtitles like <laughs> they don't give you the option to do subtitles until after until after that takes place you use the right analog stick to attack this is weird you push up on the right analog stick to attack why wouldn't you just use like x or something Okay, S square leans back. Come on, take it like I'm That's so weird, man. Uh, we can't die in this section. I know we can't die in this section because I uh, I left it here for like 10 minutes while I was setting everything else up. <laughs> Lean with it, rock with it. Analog, who the fuck sets it to an analog stick? I know, that's fucking weird. And it's not even like... Like, I'm hitting down right now on the analog stick and nothing. Left, nothing. Right, nothing. The only one that does anything is pressing up on the analog stick. Like, who the fuck presses up on the right analog stick to attack people? It's just business. Give it to him. Uh, 
Two human? I've never played two human. I'm not even positive if I know off the top of my head what that is. It sounds vaguely familiar. Is it a newer game or something older? Who the fuck sets a tune amp? That's what I'm saying, man. It makes no damn sense to me, but I don't know. So wait, is the main character not the main character? Uh Papa? Oh shit. Revenge just leads to more of this shit, though, bro. Come on. Hmm. That's why people always be dying out on the streets. Oh, now we get to make our own character. Okay, we got mob face. <laughs> uh, fullness? What does fullness do? Oh, okay. It just makes us chubbier. Sure. Uh, forehead feature? I don't know what that means. It looks like he's just, like, furrowing his frow brow a little bit. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really care. This all looks fine to me, man. Sure, hair, hair length, uh, all the way. Oh yeah, give it to me. Can I? Can I? I can be bald, but I can't have long hair. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Damn, he kind of cute right now. I mean, to each their own. To each their own. Honestly, he's not a bad. He's not bad looking. Uh, you gotta get them sideburn link on them, though. You, <laughs> you gotta get that, that extra long sideburn there, man. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I, I'll be honest, I don't really care about any of this stuff. If you give him a mustache, I will kill you. Now I want to give him a mustache. Like, if you wouldn't have said anything, I wouldn't have even thought about it. But now, hold on. Where's it, where's that at? Is it under mouth? Upper lip? No. Chin? Chinny chin chin? Chin dimple, what? No beards? Is it just impossible? Blemishes, skin color, forehead. Where is the oh facial hair style? I didn't even see it. There you go. You like the you like the little one there, Rue? Or uh oh, a little bit more full? Super full, like porn stash style. We can get the the little the little thing, the the little soul patch there. Uh the goatee. How about the full beard though? The full beard don't look bad. Oh man, that's where it's at right there. That one looks, that one looks pretty dope. Look at that. Looks like a total douchebag. <laughs> Who's Tom Selleck? Why does that name sound so familiar? I think I'm just gonna go with the, 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 whatchamacallit here, yeah. The five o'clock. Five o'clock or full beard? One or the other. Other than that, I'm probably just gonna leave him the way he is, because I don't, I don't care that much. <laughs> he played Richard in, uh, I kind of remember. I, I, I think I remember who that is. Five o'clock or full? Full beard for when? That guy Monica was in love with- I got that. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking full beard or five o'clock. Noodle? Gosh. <laughs> Her dad's best friend. Oh, okay. I understand that. Do we want full beard or five o'clock? Ah, uh, see, now we got one vote for each. Real, we need you to be the tiebreaker. If you didn't run away, looking for a way to kill me. Uh, <laughs> five o'clock or full? Rue probably left. <laughs> we scared Rue away with my bullshit. I'm sorry. No, I'm here. Very angry at you. <laughs> oh, man. I say five o'clock. Okay, five o'clock wins. There we go, man. Look, he's had a tough day, okay? He's had a tough day, and you can tell. Join the family. Enter the tailor shop. Visit the barber, film archive, or family secrets. I'm assuming tailor shop lets us get new clothes. Barber shop lets us get a new haircut. Family secrets? Wait, do we already have this stuff unlocked? Do we not have to, like, unlock this shit? Each control in their own neighborhood. They're turd. You've got Tatalias coming in from Brooklyn. These guys deserve to be hated. Bruno Tatalia is next in line to be Don of his family and is working with that Turk asshole, Salazzo. They're tough, but it only gets worse. As for Brooklyn, the Heights is pretty ritzy, but 
watch out near the waterfront. If I had a dime for every cheap hotel brothel or sleazy clip joint, I'd be a very wealthy man. One of New York's toughest neighborhoods, Hell's Kitchen. You'll be knee-deep in Cuneos. The Cuneos ain't rich. A few gambling clubs and brothels, plus some weapons. Hell's Kitchen itself is a burned down, beat up sewer of a place. This is not what I was expecting. He looks way sexier with the five. I personally like a full beard, but I, it's probably because I have a full beard. Uh, we're not going to watch all this family secret stuff. I have no idea what it is. I don't care. Uh, our name's Aldo. Unless somebody says a different name in the next like 30 seconds. We're just going with the default because <laughs> well, it doesn't make any difference to me. My Howler bag will be here. Howler bag will be here Saturday. Oh yeah, dude. I'm surprised. That's pretty quick. Frankie, Tony, Tony Frank, Frankie Tone, Fr Fr Frank, Frank Tony, Fran Tony. <laughs> Noodle, it's your turn this time. Now you're the tiebreaker. We got a Frankie and a Tony. Antonio, man, that's three different names. How are we supposed to do all three? All right, what's the first name? <laughs> we'll just do, <laughs> just do them in order. Tony Fr Frank Frankino. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, there is a space. I guess we probably could do a space. You like Tony Frankino? T O N. Uh, Tony. A good combination solution? Sure. Uh, F R A N K I N O. Is that how we want to spell it? Frank I N O. Guy hate keyboards like this, man. Just put it in QWERTY or whatever the default for that country is, you know? But like for me, I just want it laid out in, in, in QWERTY. It's so much easier. Real mob name A. Everybody agrees then? Looks good. Okay. That's us. We're Tony Frankino. <laughs> Because why the hell not, I guess, man. Price of loyalty. No Sicilian can refuse any request on his daughter's wedding day. Okay. I Is that like a real thing or was that made up for the movie? Like, <laughs> that had to be made up for the movie, right? Like, can't refuse any request? So, like, what if I just came and asked for the hand of your daughter on the day of her wedding day? Like... What the fuck was that? It's been too long since you've come around. Let's that was a really bad cut between those two scenes, like. My husband was always loyal to you. He died for that loyalty. See, I've never seen the movie, so I have no idea if this is like scenes from the movie recreated in the game, or if this is all like freshly voice act just for the game, like. Not forgotten you. Nor the loss that you have suffered. Have you ever wanted for anything? Haven't I always taken good care of you? Oh boy, here we go. It's only that I'm so worried about my son. He's fallen in with some bad men. Fools. He's in trouble and... Please. He needs your help. I feel like it's probably original for the game. Unless this is literally the uh, plot of The Godfather, but I don't, I don't think it is, from what tiny bit I know of it. But I mean tiny bit. Way too long for you to watch, Rusi. I don't really have a problem with watching long stuff. I just, I don't know, never was that interested in it. Thank you, Luca, my most valued friend. Don Corleone. I'm gonna leave you now because I know This dude sounds so fucking rehearsed, like Thank you. One more thing, my friend. I need you to find someone for me. We created the character, who knows? Just cause you drove the fucking car? I'm the leader of this gang, and you get what I say you get. Ah, stay down, punk. <laughs> the fuck's going on now? <laughs> Bad voice actor? I didn't know if it was bad voice actor or just like the dude supposed to like if that's his demeanor. Just slow as shit. My name is Luca Brasi. I've been looking for you. Man, I'm pretty sure our dude could have taken those three bros if he wanted to. 
the alley training mission 1945 down on the bowerly life is tough a good place to hide for a kid on the make but when luca brassi comes looking for you it's hard to stay lost a feared enforcer for the Corleone Cor 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 family fuck Everyone needs to watch the new Halo? I most likely will. I most likely will at some point. At least give it a shot. You just stay right there. You Who wants to talk about murder? Wait, what? <laughs> what Quick attacks. While says. locked on, move right analog stick. I'm sorry. Oh, down then up. Okay. Now grab hold of him. Oh, so you can grab and then punch the shit out of people? <laughs> like, honestly... It's pretty well animated, though, right? Like, it's more variety in the attacks than, like, I feel what you see in a lot of, uh, a lot of games. Wait. I, I, oh, left analog stick down. Okay. Hey, we got our first real fight. Dead. Got him. Talking about murder is fun. Noodle's obsessed with like murder shows and stuff like that. So, kid, you and me got some business. Come take a walk. I don't know if I like the way you run around though. It feels a little weird. Need y'all to watch her Tokyo Revengers or better yet both? I do plan on t watching Tokyo Revengers at some point too, but you know, I have like no time. Dude, it's like a well-known thing that anyone who grew up female knows a lot about murder. <laughs> Halo's animated, but not anime. Tokyo Revengers is uh, anime though. Halo's based off the Halo game or game series. Use the mini map to help you navigate, blah, blah, blah. So X is our mission objectives and house is house. Cool. So is this like a GTA knockoff or something? Get to the Corleone safe house. Wall cover? Oh, so you can like, okay. Why is there like, do you guys see? I don't know how well it's coming through on Twitch, but on my screen, there's like a faint outline around our dude. Like, is that supposed to be a shadow or something? No, it's like here all the time. There's like a, a little haze around the, the main character. That's weird. Oh, it looks very lifelike. I didn't know that it was uh, that realistic. I did watch the uh, trailer for it at one point, but go to the Court Leone safe house. Okay. I don't know. It sounded like there were some gunshots or something, but we're just going to pretend we didn't hear that. Uh, hijacked vehicle. For what? You should be ashamed of yourself, self, asshole. While running, hold X. Okay. Love to watch Bailey Sar Sarian. Sarian, how do you pronounce her name? She has a murder mystery makeup Monday series. She kind of has a murder makeup mystery Monday series. Uh, <laughs> from what I've heard, it only actually makes an episode once every what? Once a month or something like that, instead of once a week like it's supposed to be noodle there is on yours too isn't it it's weird as hell isn't it also man i knew new york was rough back in the day but shit i didn't realize there were just gunfights in the street like multiple times in the same day <laughs> she's been better open door objective complete look at us go man already beaten missions hell yeah you can tell it's animated but with the people they look very lifelike Okay, I got you. Not Sarian? So Sarian? Not Saw? Sar? Sarian? Grew up on CSI Criminal Minds. Forget this, his name, but the dude whose son died after being kidnapped, cops and other shit like that. Maybe that's why I have anxiety about people. <laughs> Sounds like my brother, man. My brother used to have uh, anxiety because he'd watch so much freaking news and then he would get these crazy ideas in his head of things that were going to happen because like he would watch the news since he was little little you know and it didn't it didn't do it didn't do him any uh any favors that's for sure i can still hear gunshots going on outside like what the hell game <laughs> new york chill okay so we save by going to bed that makes sense i'm assuming this 
heals us. This coffee table place here, since it popped up and said full health whenever we got there. Uh, I mean, we might as well save the game real quick. You didn't really watch any of those shows? Me neither, to be honest. I watched uh, SVU. That's with my grandpa, because he liked watching that. But that's pretty much the only cop show I really watched growing up. I mean, unless you count, like, Monk, right? But, like, <laughs> Monk and Psych. But I don't really count those as cop shows, you know? Like, sure, there's cops in them, but they're, you know, comedies or whatever you want to call it. They're not, like, serious crime dramas or anything. Law and Order, yeah, Law and Order SVU. Earned a new respect level and have gained health and skill points. Go to the skill screen in the pause menu to upgrade your attributes. Bruh, I didn't know we were playing an RPG. <laughs> Respect plus 500, money plus 500, bonus film clip unlocked. I uh, don't know if I care in this case. I mean, I'm sure for like fans of the, the movie, it's probably nice. Your friend read that Kit Kats are made in Russia, so they're going to stop production. Yeah, that doesn't sound real. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like they might make some of them in Russia, but I'm sure they have other places that they can make them, you know? Plus, isn't Kit Kat made by one of the major brands? Like, I, I don't... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, by Hershey's or some shit like that? Like, Hershey's has more than enough money if they needed to. They can just make a whole other factory somewhere else. If, for some reason, their only factory was in Russia, which I don't believe. I mean, I could definitely be wrong, but I doubt it. Uh, increase attack damage. Grab time. Negotiation pressure, aiming speed, health, health recovery, blocking, uh, sprint duration, knowledge. Heat and vendetta earn, minus 10%. Eh, I mean, I don't fucking care about any of that. Let's just upgrade. Wait, how many points do I have? I only have one. Why is it letting me put it like... Oh, so you can see what it does at the different levels, but you can't actually do the upgrade. Got it. Okay. Yeah, sure, fuck it. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade our fighting skill. Why not? What else do we have? We got objectives, career progress, Tom's report. Oh, so we get like a uh, a report on ourselves. That's cool. Wait, we've already done 5.5% of missions? We've done one mission. <laughs> uh, what? Money history, suspected crimes, murder? I've murdered two people? What? <laughs> All I did was kick their ass. I didn't know I murdered them collectibles execution style styles wallpapered hats off pistol face off gut shot hard head so i'm guessing it's like different shit we can collect answer the telephone downstairs got it that was quick shit yeah <laughs> i'm assuming it just means like one kind of mission right and like there's other the other missions are counted separately or something like that that's what it's gotta be you know press triangle to answer ringing phones okay Gonna meet you outside. everyone with a bat. No way, way. They have mad ones in Japan. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot all about, like, how many they have in Japan and shit. Yeah. There's no way they're all made in Russia, even if there's some that are. Kit Kats are made by Hershey's. I was like, why wouldn't they be made with the rest of the candy? He's super annoying. <laughs> Is the older guy down there, Noodle? Uh, no comment. Why is everything locked? I guess we have to go out the front door. Training mission. Harassed by corrupt cops in the Tatagalias. Muscling in from Book Brooklyn. The Corleones are fighting to keep control of Little Italy. Time to learn what makes the world go round. Sergeant Gautosino. Corrupt cop bleeding Little Italy dry. Bri, I can't do all these Italian names and shit. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Take a walk. Oh, Honestly, I've done enough walking right. today. I'd rather just sit for a bit if you don't mind, man. Easier for a man to get his business done. I make good money. I help the family. I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood. No, nah, the dude I that she works with. Go against the Godfather. <gasps> Don Corleone is a man I respect. A 
called Emilio. He doesn't seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalians. Needs to be taught a lesson. I almost walked out on him last week. Get that? It's made me cringe a few times when I've been in there. Oh, you guys with your gossip. Uh, I mean, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like we shouldn't be hijacking vehicles. But uh, I guess we're also fucking uh, a criminal. Not fucking a criminal, but we are a criminal. So, like, probably should just, you know, do whatever the fuck we want. Let's talk to the dude. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think well, you know what I to do? Never. Sort of. How should I handle it? Eh, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. A little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? Then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Capish. So show him respect. If he doesn't give us the respect that these guys feel like we deserve, then kick his ass until he remembers why he needs protection from us. Uh, that makes no sense, man. <laughs> the mob is wild. <laughs> Some people have a pressure meter that appears below their health bar. When the meter is filled past the green mark, that person fears you enough to do what you ask. Apply pressure by threatening or using violence. When the pressure meter turns red, you've pushed a person too far, you won't get anything from them, and you can expect them to fight back hard. Okay. What are you doing? Luca Brasi sent me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? Destroy property or attack Emilio. How do I... Come on, that cost. Leave me alone, please. How how you feeling, Emilio? You wanna you wanna you wanna fucking you wanna Listen deal to with us now? <laughs> Just fucking backhanded him. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. Don't fuck this up, bro. I'm trying. This month. I won't let you squeeze me no more. Ah. Uh. Think about your family. Do you want them to suffer too? Get the hell out of here. Don't make this hard on yourself. Pay me. <laughs> I don't want no trouble with you. Take the money. Give Luca Brasi my regards. That was easy enough, man. You've extorted a merchant. The owner will now pay protection money to the Corleone's family each week if you can keep him alive and his business intact. Oh. So wait, do we actually have to keep him alive? Destroy more shit? Now, if we destroy too much shit, he won't give us anything. We gotta get money from him. Not make him angry. Just scare him a little bit. Some businesses are fronts for illegal activities, rackets. Once you've extorted a merchant, the door to the back room becomes unlocked. Keep your eyes open for doors leading to back rooms. Back door unlocked? Bruh. What you doing in the back room, huh? What you, what you got going on back here, bud? Uh... New racket discovered? Oh, it's just just gambling? That's lame. <laughs> Good luck, sir. Th thanks. You too, I guess. Talk to the racket boss first when you want to control his operation. If he respects you and a buyout is offered, it will guarantee maximum long-term profits. If not, you'll need to turn up the pressure to convince him. Uh, talk to the racket boss first when you want to control his operation. If he respects you and a buyout is offered, it will guarantee maximum long-term... Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. But damn, someone that doesn't agree with her win, but we respect her gender. And you have an idea. We had a similar guy when I worked at Burger King. See, I was... I didn't know how to feel about it at first. But then, like, I looked at her record. And after they started taking, uh, treatments and joined the women's team and whatnot, like, their scores went way down right their times and they haven't even like 
like this win was pretty decent, but it's not like they're just going on this clean sweep destroying everyone, right? She's a good swimmer, but she was also a really good swimmer before the transition. So I don't know. At first I was a little iffy about, like I didn't know how to feel about that, but after reading more into it, I, I think it's perfectly fine having her on the women's team, but I'm not a sports person and uh, I'm also just some dude on the internet. So my opinion, I don't think really matters on it at the end of the day. I have a bat and I'm technically Gen Z, so I'm more than willing to show him what uh, it can do. <laughs> uh, you go, Rue. You go. <laughs> Who's the racket boss? Are you the racket boss? I don't know who the racket boss is, though. Oh, probably you, the dude with the thing over your head. What do you say? Son, it's your lucky day. I accept. Dope. So now it's my casino. <laughs> You've taken over a racket business. As it earns money, you'll automatically get a cut of the profits. Weekly income, 800 bucks. I mean, that's the easiest 800 bucks I've ever made, man. All I had to do was break a cash register and uh, then offer a dude a few hundred bucks. Seems pretty easy. <laughs> now, okay. I did everything, so what do I do now? I guess just leave and then... You have all I can give. I'm just a butcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bribe the police sergeant? Uh... <laughs> hey, this is my neighborhood. You and your paisan must honor me. Okay, okay. I don't want no trouble. I don't like cheapskates. But I'll take what you've got. Maybe what a we'll dick. see each other around sometime. Wow. That's awesome, man. Y'all have worked with some wonderful people, haven't you, Nate and uh, Noodle? Cop on your payroll helps get the heat off your back for a little while, at least for small crimes. The green bribe meter indicates how long the police will look the other way. I mean, I didn't really have a choice in that case. I had to bribe him. Like, <laughs> it's not that I wanted to bribe the cops there. I was literally forced to. Jeez, what took you so long? You get the money? Yeah. Hand it over. See? People have done studies on that actually, and I found absolutely no evidence that someone transitioning has any superiority when going into their identified gender sport. And that's what I was saying. Like, I was iffy on it at first, but the more I read into it, the more uh, her lo her times lined up with other high-ranking swimmers, you know? And they were already a high-ranking swimmer before the transition, so it would make sense for them to still be a high-ranking swimmer after the transition. And it's not like they're, again, it's not like they're just doing a clean sweep, getting all of the, breaking all of the records and, and winning every competition they enter or anything like that. Like, they're doing good, but they've always done good. So why the fuck wouldn't they, you know? It just, I don't know. Now, now, like I said, I, I don't see any problem with her being in the uh, the women's swim, whatever the event's called. I don't even know. Like I said, I know nothing about sports, to be completely honest. I just, I don't personally have a problem with it at this point. The Enforcer mission complete. Respect plus some, money plus some, and film clips that I don't care about. Cool. Don't get me started about the lesbian that works at the store. He came over to me whispering that my other co-worker surprised him by letting him know she had a girlfriend. It's like, it's not even gossip. She's just in a relationship. It's not a big deal. Bruh. <laughs> I guess we'll just go right into the next mission. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't see no reason to do anything else. Remember, visit your safe house. Oh, that's right. When we go to the safe house, we get, uh, we get stuff, don't we? People wearing black jackets, black jackets are our allies. Uh, where is my safe house? How do we pull up the map? Tom's before, uh, map. Oh, it's right at the top. I'm just fucking blind. Oh, this is actually bigger than I expected it to be. I'm not going to lie. Pretty decent sized looking map. Zoom in. Uh, I wish we could put like a waypoint or something, you know? Remove target. Oh, that's... That's... No. Okay, so we hit circle once and it freezes the screen. And then we hit circle again to actually set the target. That's fucking weird. Why? Why? <laughs> well, why have it like that, man? This guy sounds like a douche. 
Exactly, all this is making themselves... All it is is making themselves comfortable and still doing what they love, yeah. Because I, I don't... I don't know, man. So I'll admit, I was a little bit iffy about it at one point. But it doesn't seem like there's any real issue with it being... Uh, with it being done. Really hope his grandkids don't come out as LGBTQ+, plus until he's gone. Because, like, is he going to whisper and call them it? Ugh, I feel so bad for them. I mean, that's sadly the LG LGBTQ... Uh, people in general right uh hello i what are you doing here <laughs> i'll tell you right now i prefer to be on top that's fine i'll bottom i bet deep down you're not such a bad guy what is <laughs> what? why are they just in the room dancing around for no one though like what are they what are they doing here <laughs> like i just come into this room in my house and there's just two half naked women dancing around for no apparent reason they're not entertaining any guests or anything like that. They're just they're just chilling in there, man. Uh, like <laughs> just random as hell. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and save. Do do we get more points or do we only get points like uh once and once after so many missions? I don't know how that that works. The leveling up thing works. It's okay, guys. As a transgender slash non-binary, I'm here to educate. And it's good you guys are willing to learn. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, th that's all I think you can ask of anybody, really, at the end of the day, right? Like, be willing to listen to reason. Sadly, there's a whole shit ton of people that are not willing to listen to reason. So, yeah. Well, with this info presented, this makes me more comfortable, and I have not read the science and was going off emotional slash logical. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, and that's, that's exactly where I was at, right? It was just, to me, it seemed logical that, um, uh, somebody pre-transition playing in, like, a, a, someone born male playing in the female's sports transition or not, just made sense to me that they would get better scores, times, whatever, right? Um, so that's why I was kind of on the fence about it. Because on, on the one hand, I don't think they should be forced to play against their non-preferred gender. But on the other hand, I was like, well, if they have an unfair advantage, then, like, it's unfair to the people of their preferred gender. But, uh, yeah, I hadn't looked into the science at it at all. But in this case, because of how it blew up, I saw, like, actual scores from before and after transition, and it turns out that there was, like, yeah, it just didn't really make sense for people to be angry about it. Oh, shit, they hot. Yep, and that's what separates you from people like my mother. Yeah, it's rough, man. That's real rough. Sadly, isn't I pissed off two people being outspoken about LGBTQ plus a few times? <laughs> that's all right. It's perfectly fine to piss off people that are just... People with hate in their heart for anything, man. I don't care what it is. Like, no Sicilian can refuse a request on. Oh wait, we already read that. Just likes to push buttons, like he knows that I'm LGBTQ plus ally, but he talks his bullshit. And then my coworker, he will push her buttons about politics. That's what we call a dick. So you look as new errand boy. I ain't nobody's errand boy. Hey, take a joke, why don't you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, Luca told us about you. He's just. uh Busting your balls, Paulie. Right, Paulie? Thinks he's a comedian. Meet Marty Malone. He ain't a pretty psych, but... Uh... My friends call me Monk. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Monk. Likewise. Okay, okay. This ain't no tea and party. what was your other dude's name? I already forget the other dude's name. I'll be honest, I don't even know what we're doing here. I've hardly been paying attention. <laughs> the daughter just got out of the hospital. She got beat up pretty bad by a couple of punks. We gotta off these guys. No. We're under orders. Just beat them up real bad. So keep you cool. Monk is kind of cute. Is he though? I mean, I guess he's aight. A fucked up pervy dick. Can do I claim revolution? Oh lord. Follow Monk and Polly. Got it. Can I just like run up there or? Okay, crouching makes us harder to spot. Got it. I've played a video game before. Oh, this some fucking serenade was in here. Hey, come on. We won't hurt Can we like back attack him? Bullshit. Oh, nope. <laughs> I've got money. I'll pay you. 
move L while gra- oh, while grabbing. To smash into nearby walls. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's- I guess that's alright. <laughs> it's a little weird, but- Wait, how bad are we supposed to fuck him up? Like that? Or do we take him all the way out? Because didn't he say there was no- we were under orders not to- Not to execute him? Just some damn bra. I mean, you beat her to hell and back, though, dude. Like, I don't know. I think you're. I think you kind of deserve this here. Okay. While grabbing, move R to the right and then release. Wait, what? Hold L1 and R. Move R to the left or right, then release. Oh. Oh, release R1 while swinging. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, while grabbing, move F on left or right to slam him into nearby low objects. Oh. <laughs> nice. Just, <laughs> just beat him off this freaking grave thing over and over again. Uh, the, the combat system is going to take a little getting used to, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's a good way to intimidate someone. Speaking of burying people alive, uh... Tell my fiancé if my mom or husband says some dumb shit again around me, I'll just be like, y'all know I'm a pagan and all for sexual freedom. So they're the type that are like, it's okay, but it's still a sin. Look down upon anyone involved in it. Oh, God. Good night, sweetheart. Come on. That's enough. Do you imagine being threatened to be buried in a hole and then knock the fuck out? Like, whenever you finally woke up, you would, like, jump out of your fucking skin, dude. At least I would. There's a Nitro Java monster? Yeah, Noodle got it. I haven't tried it and probably won't because, you know, caffeine and stuff, but kind of neat. Oh, Luca was right. <laughs> buried alive. Like God damn said. it, Rue. Now get the hell out of here. He's waiting for you over in a bowery. What is a Bowery? Is that like a, a road or some shit? I don't really know what a Bowery is. Can we like vault over stuff? Oh, that truck just like popped in out of nowhere. Good old PS2, man. Uh, hijack a car. Enter vehicle. <laughs> How do we drive? X? Looks like X. I'm guessing I should try not to hit people. I'm assuming hitting people would, uh, would increase our heat, which is probably not what we really want. Now, doesn't the mob usually try to stay, like, under, under the radar? Hey, I'm the chaos friend. We've already established this. This is true. This is true. Sleeping with the fishes, Don Corleone, having refused to deal narcotics with Solozo, new reprisals would follow, so Luca is sent on an errand to join with Salazo. <laughs> Learn how to shoot. Okay. Don't you just like hold the gun up, pull the trigger? I mean, they didn't say learn how to shoot well, just learn how to shoot. Why are we walking so slowly? This ain't no weapon like from your army boy days, but it'll do the job. Come on, let's see what you can do. Hey, thanks. It's a loud one. Shut Why does he look a little familiar? Our guy, not the not the dude we're talking to, but like our guy looks a little familiar to me. Don't be smart with me, kid. I literally pulled it out, man. Well holding L1, press R1. Can we aim? Uh we aim with right stick. Okay. Shoot enemy's right shoulder my right or their right like like which which right shoulder are we talking about here stop things in the track by targeting their knees so it kind of like locks on to different targets it seems like Take him down. 
Uh, while locked, release then quickly press L1 again to switch. Okay. That works, I guess. Let's work on your rain. My fiance's fiance by... Wait, it's lightly sweetened black coffee, so I don't know how much I'm going to like it. Yeah, and it's sweetened with Splenda, which Noodle hates any sort of not sugar. Uh, my fiance's by and I got away from terrible influences. I realize I'm just kind of free flow type of person. Yeah. Aim at the truck. Why are we shooting the truck? What did the truck do to us? <laughs> Press up to reload. That's a weird button, but okay. Then down to put it away. Man, these controls are kind of fucked up, man. I'm going to forget this shit so easily. Definitely adding cream. Oh, wait, did you already try it, or...? Salazzo. We usually drink back coffee now, so you may like it as is. With the questions. I just really like stuff with nitro in it, you know? My mom used to say my sister's bias was a phase, but she doesn't think that anymore and is a bit more open about that stuff. Yeah, I mean, your sister's what, 20... 22 at this point? 23? 20, 22, right? Or at least... Oh, 21? Really? I thought I thought they turned 22 at this point. Huh. My bad. But anyways, yeah. At, at some point, like, you have to... You kind of have to accept the facts here. Unless you're Rue's mom, apparently. <laughs> you could just deny it forever. What are we listening to in the background, man? This like the dude's brainwashing or something like that? Like Yeah I don't know like if we wreck the car if they're gonna be angry. <laughs> like Like is that is that gonna be an issue or we chill with that if I just completely destroy this shit? So triangles break. And triangle doesn't seem to make us slide around when we break. For some reason, square does. A circle is handbrake. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So square's reverse, I'm assuming, then. Oh, man. It feels weird. Like, the driving mechanic? It works. It's not the worst I've ever used, but it does feel a bit weird. Just praying that Allah forgives me. Go to Gena. Is that how you pronounce that? She definitely will. I'm sorry, Rue. That sucks. It does suck, man. If anything happens, get out of there fast and find Monk. Wait, what are we doing? We're going to a meeting. Oh, we're watching, and if anything goes wrong, then we find Monk. Fifty thousand. Hmm. Okay, okay. Fifty thousand for my life, basically. I don't know about that. <laughs> like, like, man. If you leave one family to join another, I'm pretty sure the one you left is gonna have you killed. You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> uh, I think Luca's dead, man. Uh, dude, you should stay duck. Didn't you hear you were supposed to go find Monk as soon as shit started to go south? Yo, why can't I move? <laughs> Kill Luca's assassin? I can't even... Uh... Lock on... And fire without standing? While crouched behind low cover, lock on and fire without standing. Oh. I got you. Uh. I, like, it doesn't do me much good if this dude doesn't stand up, though. I'm pressing square. <laughs> okay. That was, that was a whole thing. Oh, hi there. I kind of appreciate the fact that it locks on for you. 
Because at this point, uh, like on, on consoles, I just can't really, <laughs> like, aim worth a shit. Uh, hey, yeah, I should probably reload every now and then, huh? What are they dropping? Oh, ammo. Okay, that's cool. Uh, no, wait, I wanna, I wanna keep the gun out. It's up. Up to reload. Up. It's the Muslim afterlife. Apparently everyone in Genna remains 32. That's kind of a neat idea. I have no idea what Genna is, TBH. It's the Muslim afterlife revenge. Okay, and yeah, I had shitty influences when it came to all that room. See, I didn't. I was pretty lucky. I mean, I grew up in the church, so the church is kind of a shitty influence as far as all that goes. But, I, uh, I had good family influences, though. Why can I not unlock, or unlock, lock onto that one? I was trying to lock on through the fucking door or whatever. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> negative 10 heat. We got negative 10 heat for dying. <laughs> Uh, okay. Pull the gun up. We got it. We got this. Can I shoot through stuff? No. Oh, but we can kind of scare him, it looks like. Sure shot execution? I don't know what that means, but we did it. Oh, okay. There's destructible shit. That's good to know. So we can kind of do this, like, not stealthily, per se, but at least, like... With some level of, uh... I don't know, tact? I don't know if that's the right word. Wait. The door was just open. Did they not come out? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on. For real. Seriously, come out. Like, <laughs> like... All right, whatever. That <laughs> that was weird, man. The dude didn't want to come around the corner. He was like aiming at me through the fucking corner there. It was weird. Hi guys. You like violence? Watch me stick nine inch nail through each one of my eyelids. Damn you! Come out! Damn it! Come on. Okay, this is not happening. Fuck that. Is that our target? Fabio Marciano? I'm just assuming since it has the thing over his head that it's the target. Hold on. Let me, let me get some more ammo. Let me pick up some of this shit. What was that? Five dollars? Really? That's all the dude had on him? Five bucks? You're a full-grown adult. You're only carrying five bucks on you? Who's shooting at me? Bro, I'm so confused. Oh shit, I can't see anything now. Yeah, go ahead. Come on out. Say hello. There you go. Dope. Oh shit, there's still people here. <laughs> Hi, guy. Do you wanna you wanna play a game? Oh, we were like really low on ammo too. I didn't even notice that we were damn near out. Same Nate, same well, I mean back then five bucks was worth more than it is now. This is true. This is true. I can't argue with you on that, but still, five bucks? Please, You're a mobster, man. Like <laughs> Ow! Give me the keys. Can't believe you just hit me like that. Hey. Ah! <laughs> There's cops! Uh... Bye, cops. <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't know the best way to get away from them. Do we just keep running? Or are like, they just gonna keep spawning on our ass like this? I didn't expect to get, you know, the heat on us like this. TBH. It's fine. It's fine. They'll never find me. Uh, I, I appreciate that the cars actually, like, pull over, though. Like, I do appreciate that. Whenever the, the sirens are going off and shit, that's pretty cool. 
So wait, can I go in the safe house even with the, the cops on my ass or no? Or will I not be able to enter the, the safe house? Ah, uh, shit, this isn't the way I really wanted to go. That's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Bruh. Do you just want to stop maybe, Mr. Officer, sir? All I did was murder a entire building worth of people. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Also, it seems like uh, the cars may be indestructible. Or at the very least have a shit ton of health. Like, I'm surprised this thing's still running. But we're on a timer. We really gotta fucking hurry, dude. We, we got 50 seconds left. Alright, we're back in Little Italy at least. That means we're getting close, right? Bruh, we're bringing it down to the fucking wire here. Uh, this car go any faster, maybe? Aw, oh, shit, we're not even on the right road. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, maybe get out of this car. Please and thank you. Yeah, we're fucked. We're not gonna make it in time. Fuck. Please don't, Please don't what? <laughs> I say I had some good ones too. My mom was welcoming about a lot of that stuff, so there was a mix of good and bad there. So at one point, the bad was the ones. Is there a way to restart mission? No. Uh. That were around a lot, and church didn't help with all that either. No, it does not. Her husband was not cool with it in that weird backhanded way. At one point, she kind of went with his thought process, at least on the surface. That's shitty, dude. Man, we were so close. We were so close. Yes, I know I didn't get there in time. What's the checkpoint? Is the checkpoint at least, like, after all that stuff? G-Stream, you suck at this, man? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Get in the car. This time we don't have the cops on our ass, so that should make it a little bit easier. And it's not like I got a GPS, I was just guessing. On the way to go. Uh, excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to murder you, but you kind of got in the way. Shit! <laughs> Remember what I said about not having cops on us? Yeah, I lied. Do you want to maybe not be on our ass, Mr. Officer, sir? Uh, I remember the tunnel, right? We went through the tunnel last time. So maybe going down the tunnel is a good way to go? You can do it if you don't crash next time? Yeah. It's fine. We got this. It's kind of hard not to crash whenever the cops are fucking up my ass, though. It does make it just a wee bit more difficult, I will say. Dodging around all this traffic might help, though. Oh. Wait, are the cops already off our ass? I feel like that was a lot quicker than last time. Maybe we just shouldn't, uh, shouldn't hit people with the car. <laughs> that might help. Wait, are we on the opposite side now? Like last, oh, that was almost bad. Uh, last time I feel like we were on the right side of it. Now we're on the left side of the safe house. It's okay, we got plenty of time though. We are good. Excuse me, lady. Uh, I'm trying to go to my safe house and you're in the way. Why stop this car? There's no way you know whose car this is, man. All the cars look the fucking same. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Do I have a horn? I do have a horn. I'm honking the horn. That means get the fuck out of the way. I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone believes in me, at least. Unlike Rue. Bruh, why do I feel like this is some sort of uh, inside job? That's gonna end up being the plot of this game, man. We're gonna have to like uncover the the uh, the mole <laughs> in the in the crime family. Someone has to keep you on your toes. True, true. But anyways, guys, we are gonna go ahead and take a quick ad break. I'm surprised Rue hasn't already brought it up, but it has been an hour. 
So we're going to do that real quick. Y'all know what it is. I'm going to go for just a couple minutes, stretch my legs, get a drink, do all that good stuff. If you need to use the bathroom or anything, I suggest you do that now. We'll be back in like two, three minutes, guys. The preview on that, man. <laughs> Just treating it, talking to it like it's a dog or something. What? So it's a rocket launcher, but with a drill on the front of it? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I don't think we have enough money for it, though, do we? Um. Yeah, no, we have 6,975, so we definitely don't have enough. Then we need to we need to step our step up our uh, our money collecting game here. Uh, and then we got a bunch of upgrades. Do we have? Wait, there's just a purchase all button. No, don't <laughs> don't do that. So we have ten upgrade slots though. That's good. What do we increase sprinkler lifetime? We haven't messed around with the sprinkler a whole lot yet, have we? From what I remember. Oh, there's a chain select. Oh, that's cool. Increase initial radius. I mean, okay, so what do we have otherwise? We have the enforcer. So that has these special ones. Shots pierce anything in their path. And to get that, we need to increase area of effect and the amount of ammo that we pick up. So this also, this just increased the amount of ammo we pick up and we can increase area of effect. Shots fire at a higher rate. That seems nice. Increase max ammo also seems nice. Mr. Fungi was full fun. We used that a couple times. The blast pistol is like our main weapon. So I feel like our main ranged weapon. So I feel like we should probably just up finish upgrading this first. And then we'll uh worry about all those other things. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a plan to me. No problem. And yeah, just kind of chilling today. Might do late DoorDash grabbing a few things around town at the moment. I feel that, man. There's even a cup holder. <laughs> cool little upgrade for that. Or not an upgrade, a, uh, a, uh, shit, what are they called, man? Trophy? Neat little trophy, I guess. There's even a cup holder. Um, okay, so the shatter bomb or the enforcer. Able to fire single or double barrels of plasma grenade that explodes upon impact. Let's, since we've already got this one partially upgraded, let's do this one first. We'll try to unlock that extra, that extra little effect there. How do we switch weapons again? Okay. With this. And how do we switch what weapons are in the slots? Oh, man. It's been... I, I have to reacquaint myself with the game. It's been so long. Collect more by completing pocket dimensions. Okay. So this is where we can change, like, our helmets and stuff. I guess we never actually messed with this last time, did we? Yeah. We can put on different gear. I don't think it actually does anything, though, does it? Oh, there's bonuses of some sort. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so if you equip the entire collection, you get a bonus. But otherwise, you don't get anything. So really, we can just mix and match <laughs> for now. What is this one? It... Oh, yeah. No, we're definitely wearing... <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna... to we're take those off. I do kind of like having boots, though. I like those ones. Those ones look nice. Uh, we don't have any chest pieces. So collectibles. Gold bolts. You found a gold bolt. Each one grants you access to a unique reward or a cheat. That's neat. Okay. Apply a skin to Ratchet's wrench. Um, toggle reward. Reset all to default. So we can't actually pick like which one we unlock. We just unlock something. So wait, do we... I guess it doesn't... Have Hello! Welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Break time is up! Alright, what are we What are we doing? Upgrade your attributes and the skill screen now, guys. It's important. Right fucking now. Not later. Not in a moment. Now. Actually, I need to check on the strippers first. How are the strippers doing? They're good? Yep. You good? You good? They both look good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, wait. What's that number in the, the left that's, like, flashing? Is that our heat? Or is that maybe our, our, like, level or something like that? Yeah, we'll, we'll save the game. Do whatever. Hi, lol. <laughs> Hello. How are you? 
looking as sexy as ever. They're doing well. They're doing well. Doing their little dance nonstop for the rest of eternity. That's their punishment. They must have done something. And to make up for it, they now have to just dance in a random room forever. <laughs> in lingerie. Oh, wait, we could just go to the skill screen, can't we? We don't actually have to come here and save to to level up, do we? That's my bad. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, we can just go in here. Skills and upgrades. Skill point three. Okay, yeah, so I'm thinking that is our our respect level or whatever then. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to level three here. Right, that's, that's one point, two points. And then maybe increase our shooting a little bit because i imagine i imagine shooting will will come in handy oh we can't do like more than one thing at a time okay and we can only upgrade one at a time that's stupid whatever okay upgrade all that and then go from there oh sure looks good next <laughs> what are we doing extort businesses to earn money that's that's our only objective right now not to go see this dude, just just extort some businesses. What do we actually need the money for? I'm sure there's something, but there's always a price for the taking. Look for us. And for fuck's sake, if you see us, help us out. I'll think about it. I don't even know who you are though, TVH. So are the black diamonds on the map? Are those businesses that I can extort or uh it doesn't look like it. Maybe the T's? Is, what are the T's on the map? Team team building exercises, right? Oh hi. I think you're gonna like this. Dynamite? Really? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah, no. So. What? What's nice, this dude huh? just selling dynamite? You dynamite does tremendous damage to a small area. It's great for destroying vehicle safes and bank vaults. It can be thrown or planted, but it has a short Insane. fuse, so watch your back. You can only carry a limited amount, so use nah, them wisely. What the fuck, dude? That's kind of neat, I guess. So, the black diamonds are arms dealers, then? Is that what they are? Make things go boom. I mean, you're right. That is that is what dynamite's for. <laughs> I can't I can't argue with you there. New venue discovered. The Corleones would like to ensure that your barbershop stays safe. Get out of my shop. Hmm. Oh, damn. He, uh... He does not have a whole lot of, of space here, man. Hold on, what's what's important to him? I bet you one of these chairs over here would be important to him. Oh, I can't lock on to any of this, though. Can I... I guess I'll just fucking beat this? the cash register. I hate for anything bad to happen to this barbershop. I'll do what you say. Just don't hurt me. You got it. <laughs> Weekly income 190. I mean, that's that's all right, I guess. What what do we got in the back here? In the back room, man. Wait, what kind of what kind of business is this? Very good to see you, sir. Yeah, you too. What uh what are y'all doing? Are you a tattoo parlor? Are you a made man? Maybe. What does that mean? That's Why does this dude look like he's angry? Got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Why? Wow, what the hell are you gonna do about it? All right, I'm guessing this isn't actually like a, a back room sort of business deal. There was a witness. There was a dude outside. Two dudes. Oh no. Oh well, fuck them. That's still just our only objective right now. Extort businesses. Okay. Sure. What's the S on the map? <laughs> you notify your next of kin, Mac? Did you notify your next of kin? Bruh. Chill. Excuse me. Yes, you're excused. Okay, the S is apparently nothing, because <laughs> I can't figure out what the fuck it's for, at least. Let's pull up the, the map. What do we got on the map? Anything anything interesting here? Right? We got some some shotgun things. We got a yellow one. What's the yellow one for? Uh, I also don't know what all of like these lion-looking things on the map are for. So why don't we just like go to one of those, I guess. That one looks pretty close. Oh, it's literally right fucking there. Yeah, you. You got a death wish. So are these just m more businesses, I guess? 
I've got things covered. Give my respects to the Godfather. Oh, these are like, okay, so the lion looking things are businesses that are already like paid up. That are already good with us. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. So we can just, I don't know, discover them for shits and giggles. I don't really know what the point of that is, but. We got another one that we can extort over here, maybe? Hey, hey, hey. New venue discovered. What do you got here? This is a fine looking establishment. It's payday. This week you've earned money from the following. Extort of businesses, two. Racket establishments, one. Total income, 1420. Corleone tribute, 70%? We pay 70% of our income to, to Don Corleone? Holy shit, dude. No wonder nobody wants to work for this man. Oh, no, not this. There's guys out there that would love to run you out of business. I can protect you. You can't pull that crap on me. Get out. Hmm. Yes, you've... What the fuck? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, I mean, I might hurt you if these goons don't get the hell out of here. You would think after watching all that, he would just already be ready to, uh... Okay, okay. That's fine, you said no, huh? Really should clean this place up. How you feeling now, bud? Don't make me kill you. What's wrong? You deaf? I said no. Look. What's it gonna be? Answer. You got me. I'll pay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Weekly income 155. Uh Oh, is that just another thing that we can break or whatever? No, we're not gonna We're not gonna break any more shit. We already got him for all he's worth. Just extort more businesses, huh? Okay. I thought we were supposed to be going to uh, talk to Monk or something, but I guess the fact that our friend died is no big deal. We're just uh, <laughs> we're just okay with that. Unless, am I missing something on the map here? Like, is there a quest marker that I'm not seeing somewhere? I don't think there is. Mission activation. Uh, this is just. Man, we can't like hide stuff. Mission activation and objective. So we're looking for like a blue circle or uh, X, blue X sort of deal. And uh, yeah, I don't see any of those. So I guess we'll go to this T here. Why not? Oh, is that what the, the different color things are? The little, like, badges? Ones that are our businesses, are someone else's businesses, or, or independent, maybe? I don't know. Wait, is this... This is the one I was just at, though. Right? Yeah, no, this is the one I was literally just at. Son of a bitch. So it's still... It still stayed that, like, brownish tea color. Well, that makes things confusing as hell. Um, okay, maybe we can go to, what's the C then? We'll check that one out. I don't fucking know. I don't know what we're doing here, man. I'm just, I'm just doing stuff. Right, we already checked out that one. That one said they were paid up. What are you selling? Are you another dynamite, bro? You ready to do business now? Snub nose? I already got a snub nose, don't I? I don't think so. I don't know if they should put, like, where they're going to be chilling at just on a map like that. Can you imagine if the cops got a hold of this map that I was given? All these dealers and shit would be screwed. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe you should switch it up every now and then. Not, not hang out at the same place every day. Hi there, friend. There's guys out there that would love to run you out of business. Are we going to use the same one-liner like every fucking time? Not you thugs. Beat it. Ain't no cops running my town. Uh Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. 
doing this? I I don't want to keep hitting him cuz he's going to end up like passing out. Look, I I don't <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I want to like beat on your shit or something. I don't want to beat you up. I'm fucking dead. Jesus fuck. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Wait, what? We were revived. Oh, hi. Most of my patients are still alive. Go find another sucker. I ain't interested. Is that the only thing you sell as a health potion? No. No one's gonna report you to the health department. Uh, okay, so this is like the hospital mechanic in GTA? I'll see you later. Probably at the morgue. Yeah, probably. Just to be honest, you know? Okay. So why did- why did we come back to life that time and not the other times? Is it because the other times we were in the middle of a mission? And this time we aren't? So it just brought us back like here? I don't know. You ain't heard shit. Hey, this ain't a library. The Corleones will protect your newsstand for a small weekly fee. No, I am not paying anything. Oh, you're not, are you? Whoa! Who the hell's bringing guns into this, man? Oh, they ain't even shooting at me. Okay, whatever. Uh. Don't make me twist your arm. I might break it off. What the fuck? Again with the fighting? Hi. You don't need protection. You sure about that? <laughs> I don't need protection. Oh, you get a payout, but oh. Should I look for you in the obituary? Okay, I went too far. <laughs> okay, yep. That time I went too far. That one was my fault. Fine, that was my fault. Got it. Yep, yep. Okay, got to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> you look where you're going, lady. I thought there would be... You do? I thought there was like a red bar or something before you went too far. I didn't realize that... Uh, I didn't realize that it uh, would just like randomly appear. So, yeah, I was pushing my luck a little bit. But it's okay. Now we know for next time. That's all, you know? It's a learning experience. Okay, we already took over this one, too. There really needs to be some sort of indicator of, like, the ones that we've already done and the ones that we haven't done yet. I thought it would have changed the color of them or something, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, I'm sorry, officer. I uh, didn't see you or care. <laughs> Can we try this guy again, or is uh, this one already fucked after last time? He was sweet talking that merchant and he just died. Uh <laughs> there's guys out there that would love to run you out of business. I could the feather just standing out the window just run this town. Not you thugs. Uh hitting their 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 fist there. See like this one there's the the little me holy shit. What the fuck? What what was that? The dude just pulled out a fucking shotgun. What was I supposed to do there? <laughs> that is not what I expected. Okay. Maybe. Store businesses to. Hmm. This is my car now. Did you see that? Well, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just go for a little trip on our favorite rocket ship, a uh, little Einstein. Anyways. Uh, no, I figure if we just drive away a little bit, like, we gotta end up getting somewhere that we haven't extorted anything yet, right? We'll just, we'll just go up the road here a little bit for a minute. Uh, this red one looks good. We'll check it out. Is it got, is it that, that, that brightly flashing neon sign there? Is that the one? What kind of business is this? Dance. Ooh, Okay. It's like you want us to rub you out? I mean, 
If you're offering, I'm just saying. I hear a phone ringing. No, it's not. You here to get stiff? Here to get stiff with the rest of the losers? Uh, there's so much innuendo. Yo, where's this phone ringing at? Oh, right here, probably. Shh, it's Monk. I told you not to talk about this on the phone. Just meet me at the barber shop in Little Italy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Finally. That's all I wanted, game. I wanted to do an actual mission. I don't care about this extortion shit. Although, since I'm here. Inside for a bit. Okay. Again, innuendo. You had an invitation. What? What is this? Hello? For a few bucks? The Corleones will watch out for your club's safety. No, I won't pay a thing. Hmm. Sure about that? Oh shit, they got shotguns. <laughs> Look, I learned my lesson last time. We don't fuck with people with shotguns. Alright, you know what? I lied. We might have to fuck with people with shotguns, cause uh it turns out that uh it doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can go. <laughs> uh I don't think beating on this safe is gonna do a whole lot, to be honest. Although I will take that shotgun there. Where's the where's the guy? There you are. Uh can I beat on the piano maybe? Piano seems like a good thing to beat on, right? Like pianos are expensive and shit. That doesn't seem like I can break anything in here actually. Okay, fine. I guess we just got to just guess we just got to hurt you. Uh, wait, did we kill him? <laughs> uh, look, it's fine. Again, another learning experience, that's all. They can also die while you're trying to extort them. Now we know. <laughs> fancy place, though? Yeah, yeah, it is a pretty fancy place. I think it's time for us to leave it, though. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll come back to this place later. How about that? I'm sure, I'm sure they would have played a pretty, uh, paid a pretty penny. For the protection, if uh, we didn't kill the owner. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate it very, very much. Stream, why? I wasn't paying attention to the health bar. I was just watching the extortion bar, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Martyr, just another learning experience? Yeah, 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 yeah. But how are you supposed to know? Like... If it happens once, that's fine. If it happens twice, then, you know, look, some people are slow learners. Three times, then it starts to get a little iffy, okay? All right. The first couple times, though, you just, you got to give me a pass, man. You know, there's, a lot of mobsters here. there's a lot of mobsters in Brooklyn, huh? The Dawn is dead. Luca sleeps with the fishes. Tom Hagen, Corleone's something, has disappeared. Can anyone stop the Tatagalias from destroying the Corleones? Malone, you know him? I'm supposed to meet him here. Hey, relax. He went outside for a few. He'll be back. Take a seat. I swear to God, if you do it a third or fourth, what you gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you, though. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you this right here. Pineapple don't go on it, man. <laughs> Ain't no pineapple going on pizza around here. It's a work day. It's on cool down, bruh. <laughs> you gotta give it a second. We can't be spamming it. Uh, these guys are looking a little angry. Yo, you know if you fully extended your arm a little bit there, you might you might be doing a little bit better with these these shots that you're doing. I'm calling the ambulance, monk. No, be all right. Frankie, 
My sister, she's out there. Are you sure she's okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, you gotta let it cool down. <laughs> Just like pizza, you know? You gotta let it cool down. You go in too quick, it's too hot. Protect Frankie from the assassins. Do I still have a gun? I do. That's good. Why, why can't I hit him? The other one. Aim at the other one, you dumbass. The other one. The one that's just freaking got his head up. Oh, my lord. I guess that's what I get for not putting points into... Into, uh, shooting skill. Dude's got a Tommy gun, though! Hold on, don't I have another weapon? I don't remember the game ever teaching me how to switch weapons. Oh, dude, we got our own Tommy gun? Oh, yes! Uh... How do I... How do I do this without killing her? Who sent you? Solos. He's got your consigliere, Tommy. Consigliere? Hiding in an old diner in Brooklyn. Wow, that was an easy interrogation. Because <laughs> this is Circle of Life. People be dying, what the hell? There are Italians dying from the horror of pineapple on pizza, that's right. That's right, it's the pineapple. The pineapple's killing the Italians. Wait. That's the word? Okay. I think I can do that. Goes on pizza, anyone disagree? No, it doesn't. Never goes on pizza. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Shut it, dudes. <laughs> We're gonna get to the hospital before my pop dies. Follow the ambulance, okay. We going, we going as fast as this old ass car would do. Yes it do. No it don't. It definitely don't. You're allowed to have your opinion, of course. Everybody has to be wrong sometimes. Holy shit, bro. Uh, look, I'm just trying to get to the hospital. Bro, you really need to aim a little bit better here. Like, yo, what's with all these cars? I don't even know where the ambulance is at at this point. Ah, oh, we can just, like, why is the ambulance taking this back-ass road? And, like, or, like, uh, path, not, like, road. It's taking main roads, but it's going, like, around in squares and shit. Shouldn't it be going, like, the shortest distance to the hospital possible? Not just random-ass directions? I don't think it knows what it's doing, I'm not gonna lie. This is this ambulance driver's first day on the job, apparently. Oh, that car's going boom. Bye, bye, birdie. <laughs> Bruh, that ambulance just killed a dude! This ambulance definitely don't know what the hell it's doing. He smoked that guy. Also, dude, how are we going faster than you? Uh. Uh. Car? Get off the freaking thing, please. Road rage execution? Jesus fuck, I'm sorry, woman. <laughs> I didn't mean to run you over. Gotta sack one to save one. <laughs> that's that's not the way it's supposed to work. Bruh, to be fair, this ambulance driver's probably just scared as shit. Like, these dudes be blowing up cars and shit, chasing after them. They just trying to get this dude to the hospital. You can't really blame them, you know? Get Don Corleone. Wait, is he not at the hospital? What's going on? Uh, oh, I thought you were dead. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Oh, the ambulance driver, like, died or something. Okay. Let me in the fucking vehicle, dude. I can't get this guy to the hospital if you don't let me drive. Please. 
North side of Little Italy. Then why the hell did we end up all the way over here? Step on it. We gotta find the hospital. Look, I'm literally like got my pedal to the metal, you know? I can't go any faster. Keep going. Keep going, man. Hurry. I'm assuming if we wreck, the Dawn's health will fall quicker. So we should probably try not to wreck if possible. <laughs> Thankfully, the sirens are working. People are getting the fuck out of the way. That's that's all we can ask for. Why does the world look like it's shaking right now? Hold on, Puff. Hold on, Puff. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. He's gonna be fine. What are you even worried about? He's like a main character. The chances of him dying are very slim. A main character, not the main character. It's important hey, distinction. What the hell Sonny, Sonny, I, I... What's this guy? He's watching a movie. Get him out of here. Raider, get your ass over here. Hey, kid. Don't mind, son. It's just that I don't understand the whole mindset behind like the mob shit, you know? We got trapped on the bridge. Like you know if you attack a family, another family's gonna come after you. Or like that family or a family that they're partnered with or whatever. Like you're just breeding more violence by doing shit like this. Christ. I hope Tom is okay. He's not the fighting type. We'll take it from here, kid. Head on over to the compound. Am I supposed to know what that is? What the fuck's the compound? Like, the interest, you know? I put in my bank account. Makes me money over time. Interest on interest. Got that compound interest. Who are you? That was Clemenza. Big fish in the Corleone family. He says go meet him. Another safe house? Maybe. Maybe. Upgrade your attributes in the skill screen now. Right fucking now, guys. No wait until later. Okay, I feel like we should take one point in shooting and then probably some in health, honestly, because, yeah, having a little more health would probably be a good idea. <laughs> we've, we've taken some hits, boy. We're a little hurt. So I'm assuming, like, the money's just for buying new weapons and shit, but, well, I guess whenever we find, like, rackets, we can, we can use it for the rackets, too, huh? There is that. One day you're gonna steal the wrong car? Nah. No such thing, man. All cars are the right car. In video games, at least. <laughs> Please don't steal cars in real life. Oh god, the handling on this one fucking sucks. Guess that's what I get for stealing a truck. Especially, like, what are we, 1960s truck? We're in, what, whenever we are. I don't know, when was the mob a big thing? Let you know it is currently 1 hour 30 minutes 38 minutes since the stream started. Is it? Holy shit, you're right. <laughs> if anybody ever wants to know, by the way, there is a hotkey for that. Or not a hotkey, a, uh, a command for that. You can do exclamation point uptime and it'll actually tell you how long we've been up for. Not like awake, but the stream. <laughs> the 1930s? Oh shit, okay, a little older than I thought. Uh, how the fuck do we get where it's wanting us to go? There's got to be, like, some sort of... Uh... Bridge or, or maybe that tunnel or something like that. Hey, since we're already all the way over here, we might as well uh, check out this hotel. Is this another safe house? Okay, I should probably put this newly acquired Civic Type R back, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Newly acquired Civic Type R. Are you playing a racing game or something? New venue. Shall be in charge of this command now. So what's what's this venue do though? Like cool, we found a venue, but it's not an extortion one, is it? No. Oh, is it a safe house one? You have insufficient funds to buy. Oh, so you have to buy the orange safe houses. Okay, so that's another use for money, I guess. I don't really know if I care that much, but. 
<laughs> oh, you said not to steal cards from real life. Man, that was like 10 minutes ago. Not really, but really, like... <laughs> that was forever ago. I have completely forgot about that until you said something. Plus 50 to our heat. It's fine. We were getting chilly anyways. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to murder that dude. Uh, my bad. Look, I can hardly drive on a good day. And I've been getting shot at all day. I haven't slept in like three days, okay? It's not exactly a good day. You might just want to stay off the roads for a little bit. I'm multitasking here, my guy. What you multitasking with? What else you got going on? Playing with your magic cards? You playing a game? What you doing? And see, that's another thing. Like, I'm decent at video games, most people would say. But man, like, even I underestimated how much harder video games are when you're trying to stream and talk and shit at the same time. Like, it really does make it harder than, uh, at least harder than I thought it would. Like, it makes a big difference. Looking at games and such, anything interesting? I'm glad we turned down this random ass road, because apparently that's the only way to get to this compound. So the compound, is this the Dawn's house then? Hi, uh, random sir. YouTubers talk about that all the time, how it's harder once you hit record. Yeah, like I've heard that before. And I knew from a bit of experience, because like I said, I've been streaming on and off for a long time, but it's actually a lot worse than, than even I gave it credit for. No, I'm not trying to give no one a bad name. I'm just trying to get to the compound, man. Is this is this the compound? Can I vault over this, please? No? Okay, I guess that wall is too tall for me to jump over. Uh... Ah, oh, not Tom! Tom talked his way out of it? Uh, it sounds like he's a snitch is what that sounds like. I don't trust this Tom guy anymore. Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because as we speak, our enemies encircle us, waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role as an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we Why unofficial? Like, <laughs> like, bro, you just asked me to come in here and help you out. Why do I have to be unofficial? And then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. Bullshit. None that you can get yet, just pricing. Tiny Tina's want to get DBZ Kakarot with DLC and such. Man, I need to try that game out too. DBZ Kakarot. Tiny Tina I'm not going to get until it comes on Steam. And even then, it depends on how hype I am for it at the time. Because I really wanted to get Borderlands 3 originally, right? Whenever it was first announced and whatnot. But then it didn't come to Steam for like six months to a year later or whatever. So I never even ended up picking it up. But DBZ Kakarot, yeah, I do want that. I definitely do want that. Coming in, Enforcer is only the first rank in the Corleone family. Complete missions and earn respect to rise through the ranks and become Dawn. Wait, what? I can become a Dawn? I get my own family? Where's Vin Diesel when you need him, man? Family. It's all about family. It's as a test to see if we can become official, I guess, but... Still unofficial Enforcer, man? Give me a better title than that. Come on. Hey, Clemenza's looking for you. Over at the Falconite. The Falcon Knight? What the fuck is a Falcon Knight? Is that a uh, superhero or something? Bruh, I just want to get out of this big ass house. Why you gotta make your house so confusing? <laughs> hey, thank you again for the five bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. You're the best. And Rue, that's fine, man. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I like talking to you. I appreciate you being here. Spend some time with Don't us. You just love this weather. Uh, how the fuck did we get out of here, man? I got over here. Why can't I not find my way out? Ooh, free ammo. Nice. So, I mean, first impressions of this game while we're here, it legit just feels like a worse GTA game. Like, the story might be a tiny bit better than GTA, but gameplay-wise, it just feels like a worse GTA, you know? How you doing, Hi. kid? Got a job for you. Interested? Uh, sure. 
Night guys, I appreciate having peeps like you to chat with now. Get your asses to Colorado ASAP. It might be a little while. I do want to go to Colorado. I really, really do. But it's probably going to be a year or two. I'm not going to lie, man. It's uh, cost money. Sadly, I don't have a whole lot of that. When you receive a contract hit, a hit list will appear in the objective menu. Your hit list displays important info about your target and it will remind you of any possible bonus conditions. Killing your target according to the bonus condition will earn you more money and respect. Look for Mikey Salier, Salary, Salary, <laughs> fine. <laughs> It'll happen, though. We'll make sure to let you know when it does happen. Have a good night, man. The alley behind Emilio's Butcher Shop in Little Italy. Salary has been <laughs> trying to intimidate Corleone shopkeepers, and he has threatened to kill Emilio the Butcher if he doesn't pay the... Bro, these fucking names. I'm not Italian. I don't know Italian. Use hand-to-hand -hand combat to kill this dude. Okay. So that's the yellow marker, then? You got another job for me? You know, trucks are a good place to start. I started by robbing trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He tells me, yeah, every man has one destiny. Well, today, today my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me, you know what I mean? Not really. No, I'm not catching your drift here, man. Need to be more specific. <laughs> so this isn't stealing, right? I don't know. I guess it is stealing. We got heat for it. I would have thought since like it was in the Corleone courtyard here that <laughs> it would have been one of our vehicles. Ah, uh, fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, if you don't mind, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. I'm dead. <laughs> I was trying to get the fuck away from it. Honestly, I thought it was our car that was on fire, or I probably wouldn't have even, like, walked away. No, uh, what kind of treatment you got, you know what I mean? Anyways, no, that was just a, it was a death warp, right? To get us back over to this area quicker, that's all. I'm using them speedrun strats, man. That's all it is. Alright, uh, you, are you back here, or are you in that building? Hi. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kill this, bro. That was the mission, right? I think it was the mission. Get the picture. Beat it, punk. I'm taking over this joint. Oh yeah? Are you now? I don't think you're gonna do much taking over, man. <laughs> Respect plus five thousand. Five thou. Upgrade your attributes in this skills menu now. I don't like how it just like yells at us every time. What if I don't want to do it now, man? Plus three seconds breaking point revealed. Dynamite and Molotovs. Steal parked cars free. Okay, so like that's this stuff's kind of interesting, I guess. Sure, why not? Let's uh, let's get some street smarts, man. Upgrade. I feel like this game actually will end up being pretty short. I haven't looked at the menu recently. Tom's report. Is that where it was? No, career progress. Oh, yeah. Game progress? Maybe not. Dawn of NYC. Game completion. Family. Underboss. Dawn. Never mind. Uh, Tom's report. <laughs> Criminal progress. Missions 29%. 29% already, man. There's no way. Overall game progress, 7.5%, but we've only done 7.9% of of uh, missions. That doesn't make any damn sense. Huh. I don't know. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. It's TBH. I think we got enough time to do one more mission, right? I think so. Let's try it out. Uh, I was told I should steal a truck, so... Hey, truck. Hey, hey, truck. Ow! can't just hit me with your car. Wait, can I not steal the fucking truck? What the hell? <laughs> that truck said no. <laughs> I'm guessing we got to do something. Like, maybe we have to shoot the trucks to steal the trucks or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I ain't gonna lie. That guy needs to do some cardio. He's getting worn out too quick here. New venue discovered. Cool, cool. Uh, 
really just here to talk to someone though not on this side oh wait maybe it is can i get into the back the dawn's still in bad shape why don't you go over to the hospital in little italy and keep an eye on things you think there's gonna be trouble the police got the building under wraps but they're not our guys and i don't trust them honestly like that's fair the cops seem a little shady around here to me i know a secret about those delivery trucks could earn you a lot of dough interesting uh yeah actually what are you thinking them trucks ain't all legit some are smuggling goods for the mob stop them with a little firepower then interrogate the driver we'll find out where okay yeah we got to shoot them a little bit first that's kind of what i figured Trucks are busy smuggling goods for rival rackets. Attack trucks on the street with a car or heavy firepower. Keep the driver alive and he might spill the location of the warehouse. Very cool. So wait, all trucks? Like, we don't have any trucks of our own? <laughs> Running around, we just we just attack them all? That's fine, I guess. The Whatever. The have gone soft. Just knock them over and poof, they're gone. New York City is divided up amongst five families. The Blank family from Brooklyn is nearly as strong as the Corleone. Carter Stowe is the Strassi family from New Jersey and the Cuneo family from Hell's Kitchen. Undoubtedly, the Berzini family from Midtown is the toughest. Really? Corleones aren't? I just figured since that's like the main family of the movies and shit, they would be the top dogs. You don't cross them. Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection. I'm heading over there, chill. I just need a car. I got 17 grand in my pocket of 1930s money. I would have thought that'd be enough to buy a car, but uh, apparently not. Y'all wanna y'all wanna fight or something? Oh no! Oh wait, we've done this one already, haven't we? Oh no, we tried to do this one, and we either died or got killed or something. Not you thugs! Beat it! Feeling lucky? How about your friend here? Ah, the dude's got a fucking Tommy gun. No oh, shit, we're dead. <laughs> it's fine. We're doing the death warp strats again. That's all. That's all it is, man. Just gotta teleport back real quick. Get us nice and close. Hell yeah. I'm not licensed, but I can fix you up. There's gotta be some sort of downside to dying. I don't know what. But there's got to be something, right? Like... Wait, who's shooting at me? Oh, it's just... That's not a cop, is it? I don't think it's a cop. I don't fucking care. Then whatever. <laughs> just some random-ass dude shooting at me? You don't even know me, man. Oh, fuck. It's fine. Everything's fine. Seems like a weird place for a hospital. I mean, I haven't spent much time in cities IRL, so, like, maybe it's normal to have a, a hospital in between all these buildings here in this random-ass location, but I'm used to seeing them, like, in movies and shit in, like, big open areas with, like, nice courtyards and all that. Not just sandwiched between a thousand other apartments and little businesses. No, going to hospital, no, no, I want, I want to send some bodyguards with him, all right? Ah, uh, he'll be all right. Salota knows he's a civilian. All right. Be careful, huh? Yes, sir. Send somebody with him anyway. Hi. Hi. Guard duty, huh? Yeah. You? Or, uh, be careful. You get with that dude's sister, you might just have you killed. Thanks. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than playing the damsel in distress, but I appreciate what you did. I guess I better go in. Uh, hey. Yeah? I was thinking, maybe we should, you know. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shot him down real but quick. We but we will. Damn. <laughs> that girl knows what's up. Objective complete. Oh, wait, that was the whole mission? Just fucking come here and flirt with the dude's sister a little bit? Check in with security guard. We'll do that later. 
I think that's all we got time for tonight, anyways. Uh oh shit, but we can't we can't uh we can't quit. We gotta go to the safe house actually, don't we? Oh fuck, we can't. Why can't I go to the safe? Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Nope, we're literally locked in here. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, no weapons inside. Hand him over. No problem. You know where Monk Malone is? You mean Marty Malone? He's upstairs, second floor. Your weapons have been temporarily removed. Uh, I'm going to temporarily remove you, you know what I mean? Look, I'll be honest, I don't see us completing this game anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. That's all we got time for tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, Noodle, thank you for the 10 bits tonight. Uh, and hanging out, of course. Nate, thank you for coming and hanging out, man. I appreciate you all. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to be playing tomorrow night. Today is Thursday, right? So we will be playing something tomorrow night, right? Just checking. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Friday now, but it's after midnight here. So we'll be back again tomorrow night with another PS2 game of some sort. Uh, we still have a lot to fucking go through, through man. This is game, what, 71 out of, you know, 1,700? So over 1,700, almost 1,800? So we still got a lot to go through. And a lot of those are sports games. Sooner or later, we're going to have to bite the bullet and do some of them, man. Probably not anytime too soon, but it's coming. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye. It's wrench. That's fine, then. Uh, weapons. Okay, so this is where we can equip them, right? So we want the blast pistol pretty much always equipped. So that can just go in the top slot. Um...